Hello tech peeps, I am Amit and I welcome you to my YouTube channel VoiceCard. In today's lab, uh, we'll see that how you can take out the logs from uh, CUC and using RTMP tools like to collect the logs you need to install the real-time monitoring tool. Uh, you have to download this application from CUC and then you need to install it on your system. And by using this, you, you can take out the logs like application logs, CTI logs and all that. Uh, by using RTMT uh, tool. So uh, we'll see that uh, how you can take out the logs and what step you need to follow to take out the logs. So first thing, let's go. Uh, you need to go to the uh, URL base on CUCM and go to the CUCM because we need to uh, make few changes before taking out the logs. <clears throat> Okay, so uh, after uh, logging in, uh, we need to go to the navigation toolbar and into the navigation, you need to select the serviceability tab. Inside it, you need to go and then, yes, then go to the traces and then configuration. From here, you need to select the server that is 220 our CUCM, click on go and then you need to service group we need to the, select the cm services that is call manager services then click on go and then services so into that we need to the select the call manager click on go <clears throat> so make sure that the traces are on here and uh, the second thing is that the debug trace level is in detailed mode so these two things you, you need to uh, check before taking out the logs from RTMT tools. So we need, uh, you can you can log out the CUCM now. Uh, let me log out and then open the RTMT tool. Enter the your call manager uh, IP address over here. That is 10.100.6.220. Enter your credentials, the same username and the password you're using for call manager. And it, it's taking time. Let's wait. Yes, uh, now we are inside the real-time monitoring tool and then here you need to go to the traces and log central into the left Collect, uh, select collect files and from here you need to select the call manager for which we are taking out the logs click on next yes Click on next and from here you need to select out the application uh, event viewer and then second thing is the system view event viewer so these two things you need to select from here uh, let me let me scroll it down and try to search these two things for which we are taking out the logs these all are the components into the call manager for which you you can take out the logs for all all things whatever you want you can take out the logs but for that we need we, we as of now we are taking the system event viewer and then application event viewer for those two things we are taking out the logs so here here these are two event viewer application log and the second thing is that event system logs so click on next and here's the date range like either you you can select according to the date or the time range like five minutes ten minutes ten hours whatever you want so let's take out for eight minutes and then either you you can zip the files or non zip the files it's up to you and you need to select out the output folder like where you want these logs so let's make it on desktop and then let's give the name that CUCM logs. 
open and then finish so after doing these things the exportation has been started now and it will take around one or two minutes maximum to export your logs yes uh, the process has begun now and now it's done so uh, uh, you can you can minimize these things and let's go to the cucm logs folder here these are the logs you have taken out you can unzip these folders you can browse the same folder on desktop it's cucm logs yes then extract here it is so this is the STL logs and you can and this is the trace collection results you can open it as well to see what things are inside it so this is these are the steps to collect the logs from CUCM and using the RTMT tools thanks for giving time to my videos please like and subscribe and press the bell icon for the latest notifications and if you have any queries do comment in the comment box we'll come up with the solutions thank you see you in the next lecture